Welcome to Aritex User Guide Online. In this video, we're going to show you how to use a cloud-based iris recognition service with iris secure ID client application on an Android device. Install iris secure ID client into your device. In the first attempt to use all functions of this application, you need to be ready for the host address and customer ID. This information should be provided to you by Aritech. For more information, please contact sales at aritech.com. Input the host address and customer ID and tap OK to proceed. You will then be required to insert a username and password. As a default, you will be using the admin account that we send you. Simply fill in each field and tap on login button to start. There are four main functions available for different purposes. First, identification. A one-to-many comparison of the given template or image with the enrolled iris templates in the SDK gallery to identify the individuals that are most likely represented by the given template or image. Second, verification. A one-to-one -one comparison of the given template or image with the stored biometric templates in order to verify the individual is the person he or she claims to be. Third, enrollment. An enrollment of an iris image by extracting template from iris image and store it into the SDK gallery. And last, certificate. An end-to-end -end security. Once all necessary cryptography keys are available at both sites, templates and captured images can be exchanged through internet in encrypted signed data streams. The cryptography structure is based on PKI, involve the use of asymmetric key algorithms and symmetric key algorithms. Now we will explore these functions. Go to User tab. You can add different users who will be granted one of the three authority levels in accordance with the position ranks within a company or organization. First, the Administrator. This person is granted the highest authorization. By this, he or she will have the right to call on functions of the application. Second, the Manager. This person is granted second to the highest authorization. However, he or she is not allowed to enroll or unenroll one enrollee at a time. And last, the operator. This is the lowest authorization. The person will only have an access to identification and verification functions. Now let's add a sample for your understanding. Tap on Add button. There will be two information tabs, General and Iris. In General tab, fill in all required fields such as username, create a password and confirm it. Set a specific role and allow this person to be enabled or disabled and then tap on Add User to complete it. For users, it is optional to enroll irises. Go to Enrollment tab. Do the same step as adding a user. Tap on Add button. In General tab, fill in all required information such as ID, first name, and last name. In the Irises tab, tap on the camera symbol and capture the enrollee's irises. It is recommended to have both left and right irises to be enrolled. Tap on Add button to finish the enrollment. How to identify a person? Go to Identification tab. You need to capture a person's irises, either left, right, or both eyes. Then tap on Identify bar. The identification request will be then sent to the server for the matching step. If it is matched, the server will return a result with all information of the matched person. Otherwise, a notification will confirm an unfound person. How to verify a person? Go to Verification tab. Input a person's ID in order to verify who this person is. Capture a person's irises at the left, right, or both eyes, and tap on Verify bar to process. Same with identification, a result will be shown whether or not this is the right person. Otherwise, it will notify a wrong identity. There is a setting tab that allows you to set up the connection and capture setting. Only the administrator is allowed to edit or change it. At the top right corner of the application, you can find user information, customer information, application version, and a detailed help guide that will instruct you on how to use the application. If you have any difficulties in using Aritech Secure ID Client, please feel free to email us at collaboration at aritech.com. Please subscribe to Aritech's YouTube channel for other videos. I hope you will enjoy using our cloud-based Aris recognition service. Thank you for watching.